car just parked up on a car park but we're in a village called Ballantry. I think that's how you say it might be Ballantry. not sure it's a permitted overnight park up run by Ayrshire Council I think there was five spots here for you to park on and that there sort of like a little lake and then there's another one next to it and then I think it goes into the river that runs through the town south of Govan this is got a toilet block what's free I've just been in there it's not the most gorgeous but it's free and it's there you can wash your hands got bog roll what else do you need god and you should see the waves here it's still really really windy you can probably uh, it's supposed to be windier tonight than last night following day and we're back out we had a really really good night's sleep we're walking along the main road at the minute and we're going into the old cemetery and we've come to look at this building this is the Kennedy mausoleum erected by Janet Stewart for her husband Gilbert Kennedy who was murdered at the age of 25 in Maybole and he was the last laird of the House of Kennedy of Bargainer. Gilbert Kennedy was murdered in 1601 by being ambushed and getting a lance put in his back and the people who murdered him got away with it because they said that he wouldn't recognise the king as being the king and that's why they murdered him and they got away with it a bad place to be buried sun's trying to come out as well even better really nice views here there's the sea over there a bit dark to be able to see it but you might be able to And I can't remember if I've already said this, so apologies if I have. But we had a really, really peaceful night's sleep. And considering how windy it is, weren't too bad at all. Really, really quiet park up. Definitely recommend it. And it's free because it's out of season. This is Ballantry War Memorial. We've had Stincher Castle in the background. The memorial was erected in 1922 but actually stood 14 feet taller but there were storms in the 1950s and they were so strong that they blew the cross down 
and the only bit that could be saved was the Celtic bit at the top. And this is Ardstincher Castle, built by Hugh Kennedy in the 15th century. He went off to France to fight with Joan of Arc in the Hundred Year War. But he had a better fight than she did because he came back. Ellen and Nucky Munster sitting down waiting for me. I've got a task to do. I've got to climb all the way up to the castle. First thing you do is come through that little gap there and then climb up here. Not too bad of a climb. Lots of people have been up here already. Lots of footpaths. It is a bit slippy, very mucky. We have had a hell of a lot of rain. Still alive. It's getting a bit steep. Through the rocky terrain very nice this is the remaining part of the castle all the stone has been taken away to build houses in the village. Let's get a bit closer. Gorgeous views from the top. Right, I'm going down this bloody dodgy slope to get down by the river. I'm amazed Carl ain't filming me to see if I'm going to fall over or not, but he ain't. Oh, God's sake. It's a bit of a slopey bloody hill I'm doing sideways feet here. That's it. Once you get past the gravelly stuff, it's all right. Go through the little gate. Oh, there's actually no window in here. Lovely. A bit mucky though. I'm underneath the main road bridge now of the I-77. There's Mr. B and Nucky Monster! And a lorry. Well, a truck. Mrs. B! Wave! Jump up. No, don't sit your fingers up at me. That's not very nice, is it? Don't want you. Hey, hey. Should we make her jump up and down? Jump up and down, they said. <laughs> this gorgeous looking stone bridge is the bridge of Ballantry 
and it sits on the River Stincha, affectionately known by the locals as the River Stinker. And the bridge was built in 1770 and it was made from the stone from Ardstincha Castle. Lovely views from the bridge. In the distance, you probably won't see, is the waves. And they are big waves because it's very windy out there. But yeah, what a lovely place to be. We're back at the water's edge. And it's mega choppy still. But it is lovely. So there's not loads to do in Ballantrae, but it is a really nice relaxing place. The people we've met have been friendly. You've got a co-op and there is a pub which is community owned. I think it's still open. I don't think it's open at the minute, but I think it is open, open, just not open out of season probably, I'm not sure. I will try and find out. But it's really nice and relaxing here. Here, while well, the nutter walks down there. Whoa, man! It is bloody windy, I'm telling you, down here. Off his bloody head, he is. Better watch my doggy. Don't want Nucky Mons to get in hurt. You ain't gonna be able to see it, I don't think, but there's a man middle-ish but to the right standing on the beach with a guitar being filmed in this wind is a bloody nutter I mean we're bad enough walking down here for a bit of filming but bloody hell nutters man right we're gonna leave this one here then we are in a very very windy 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 Scotland very very windy and very gorgeous yeah part it's, of Scotland yeah, yeah. it is nice here ain't it yes definitely come back yeah definitely yeah so we'll catch you later we will <laughs> <laughs>